What technology will change the world that no one is talking about yet? Um, I don't think uh, we are putting enough attention onto quantum sciences and quantum computers. So I think uh, all of this AI build up. Now, I will say this too. AI will win the war, but a big battle is going to go to whoever comes up with the first quantum computer. And IBM's Watson does not count. That was archaic in comparison to what needs to be built. But I think um, quantum sciences, life sciences, qu quantum computers, you know, we talked about the woolly mammoth two years ago. I was bringing that up. Everyone thought it was crazy that the pterodactyls. Now they made a meatball out of the woolly mammoth. But I no one that. from the company who made it wants to eat it because they don't know if the proteins in it will affect humans negatively. Now, there's this thing, entrepreneurship called that you need to eat your own dog food. And the fact that they won't eat it is kind of suspicious while our waterways and would you fake foods. Would you eat a Willie Babbitt? No, but if it was my product, I would. That's why, like, even in Red Panda Stock Club, I'm like, the prices that I'm giving are the prices that I'm looking to get in. And people are like, yo, it don't work. It works. No, That's no, no. why I'm saying just yeah, because yeah. I, I could create, I, I, I'm not totally opposed to creating a Willie Mammoth. I kind of understand why they would do that. I don't think you should sell I a product think, that you don't I, sit behind. But I don't think I would eat it, though. That's then you, you shouldn't sell it. That's a different conversation. Yeah, no, you shouldn't sell. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't make a meatball. You shouldn't sell it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's crazy within For itself. For entertainment purposes only. No, it's entertainment purposes only. Please. For sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So, yeah, so quantum sciences, quantum computers, and life sciences are going to be like the three biggest ones over the next 10, 15 years. Yeah, you have it, yep. ladies and gentlemen. Um, what are four of the top sectors that America needs to invest in over the next 10 years? Can we flip it? How about, yes. how about I'll give you the, the top 10, uh, top four over the past decade. And okay. then maybe some of these won't be there. Technology, number one, up 328%. Consumer discretionary, number two, up 301%. Healthcare, number three, up 245%. And industrials, up 131% over the past decade. So those are the, those are four or five would be consumer staples up 140 percent. So those are the top five sectors over the past decade. I so, think we have to yeah we got to put a greater emphasis on healthcare. Uh, to be one of the richest countries in the history of mankind, we have some of the worst health at scale by design because there's a lot more money in the selling of the treatment than there is actually in the cure. But I think one of the things that's ruining our country is that. We are not healthy as a nation. Um, and then a cost that ends up being pushed back on to taxpayers is becoming too much of a burden. Um, I'm going to go back to the life sciences point. We have too many tech companies that are invested in heavily that really do nothing or add any value. Like even, I want you guys to look at every app that you have on your phone right now. The, let's say the top five that you use. Do those give you a positive return in your life or negative? For most people, Instagram negative, TikTok negative, Snapchat negative. Most you're getting a depreciating return on the time that you're putting into these platforms. So we don't have enough cures. We don't have enough preventative medicines. Um, we're losing the AI race. The reason why we're pushing for going back to the China point that everybody keeps telling me I'm wrong about, except JP Morgan and Citadel. We have been behind in this AI race. If you've been to Japan or China, or any country in the East, they are way ahead of us technologically and their AI has already been put in place. Now, the pendulum swung and it came back to our uh, favor with open AI. Great. But if we don't continue to push for products, inventions, and companies that actually matter, this part of the reason, like we have 15 years of investing in social media apps that made us less connected socially this thing right here replaced our living rooms and talking to our friends and great if you invested in the company but it wasn't great for us socially so healthcare is first um semiconductors ai life sciences are the four that we have to invest in i think here's my four good um cyber security uh, I had that as number four. Extremely important. That was my number four. Um, I feel like cybersecurity is probably one of the most important things, especially when you look at, like I said, the wars of the next hundred years will not be fought the same way as the wars of the, the last 4,000 years. But the last yep. 4,000 years, it was fought physically. 
whether it was, you know, with guns, with knives, with boats, with missiles, with bombs, um, I think it'll be for two ways. One way will be over the internet and over, you know, uh, cyber hacking. And That's the way they won the war. And, and manipulation, especially when you AI. Imagine, imagine um, we talk about AI. This is what nobody's talking about. Imagine a whole warehouse and AI and everything is running by computers. Imagine somebody getting control of those computers and turning those computers rogue. And mm. now you got the robots fighting against that and mm. corrupting and sharing secrets, different things of that nature. So cybersecurity, security has always been, since the beginning of time, security has always been. A China built a wall. The Great Wall of China is built for security. That's, mm -hmm. that's a security measure. Mm -hmm. So human history, security has always been extremely important. This will be the next iteration of security. Cybersecurity will be extremely important. As I said, two ways where wars would be fought on the internet, but also biologically. So I think that biotech is going to be extremely important. It's in the medicine field, but more even drilled down. On the technology side, I feel like medicine and tech is, is aligned it and it, yeah. it will merge fully. Um, yeah. so biotech, I don't think that people really still, I don't think they still figured it out yet as far as the biotech industry and nobody's really talking about biotech right now, but biotech, I think over the next 10, 20 years will be extremely important. Of course, artificial intelligence. And the last one is agriculture. This actually might be the most important out of all of them. Say it for again. Uh, AI. Yep. Um, biotech. Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity. And the last one is agriculture. Gotcha. Agriculture. It will be interesting to see how all of this, the food that we're eating, the the animals, the, the, the crops, how will this play out over the next 10, 20 years? How will AI affect it? How will climate change collect it? How will pollution, how will uh, more people on the planet affect? Like these, these are things that will it, will we really start having um, full grown farms where, you know, AI is the farmer and everything is in a dome and everything is, you know, artificial food, um, created, mm -hmm. you know, it's already artificial food, but I mean, artificial food at scale, where it's like millions of miles of, you know, fertile ground because it's better and there's no more fertile ground anymore. Right. Like, I mean, I agriculture is, is, is important. It's extremely important. You can't live without food. Um, and I think that, you know, this is going to be interesting to to look forward to over the next 20 years to see how that's going to play out. Yeah, I mean, but there's two major companies, which I won't mention here, um, yeah. that have destroyed seeds and fertile grounds to be able to produce great foods, one of which got acquired by another major company. And I put on my post, I think maybe two weeks ago, like, even when we are looking at the obesity epidemic, the, one of the number one things that have uh, that has caused this obesity crisis that we in is the chemical glyphosate that is used in agricultural farming. Um, you guys should go do the studies and the research on that and read the white paper on that. I thought that was uh, pretty fascinating, but it's hard in terms for most farmers or agriculture companies to produce great crops in the United States of America. So. It may not yield the best returns, no pun intended. All right. So I, I I went, this is my order. So when I said sector, I added those things inside of it. So like technology was my number one. So yep. information technology was the reason, right? So cybersecurity is inside of that, automation is inside of that, artificial intelligence is inside of that, but cloud computing is also inside of that. So that was my number one. Number two was healthcare um, for some of the reasons that reasons that you named. Yep. Number three uh, was consumer discretionary, right? Because Tell me why. There's one thing that we know that's going to happen with people is that they're going to spend, <laughs> right? We, our, our spending habits have, for the past 20, 30, 40 years, they, they haven't changed. They haven't slowed down. People who, who don't have the education or even have education, one of the things that they're going to do is spend. And so if we're talking about investing in companies inside of that or even ETFs, I like the space. Now, the last one, and this, I don't know, I, I kind of was like weighing back and forth because industrials was in the top five and then like real estate was in there, but I, I I'm going to lead toward industrials for the fourth one as a sector um, based on 
technology being at the forefront at number one and having to have infrastructure to facilitate some of this technology at a large scale. Um, mm -hmm. And we kind of alluded to it a little bit when we were talking about the warehouses um, and when we were talking about TSM building factories. So all that falls under infrastructure um, along with, you know, roadways and, you know, different type of projects that our economy, number one, is looking at. But on a global scale, they'll be looking at as well as far as expansion in the world of technology. So I think technology becomes the root and all these other things will benefit from that. So that, that, that was my fault. Yeah. I, mean, um, I, I don't love industrials, but if you look at Chris Hone's portfolio, uh, you guys can go Google him, uh, portfolio manager. He's invested in Union Pacific, which is a good one. So is Buffett. So um, I think you may be onto something there. A ADP's in there. So it's not the set Honeywell. So it's not like the sexy. It's not sexy. Stocks, no, it's but, not sexy. Yeah, but but it definitely gets the job done. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs> a mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs>